Hello, I'm Matt, welcome back to your workshop. One of the first videos I ever put out was making some garden planters. I've been asked to make some more, so I thought I'd make another video. If you've seen the first one, it's basically the same, so you can go away now. But I would love you to stay and watch. The frame is made from 2x3s with rounded over corners, so first I cut the round over off. Then I squared them up. I kept the leftover bits, because I'm going to use them later on. These were all going to be held together with dowels using my Triton dowel joiner. I laid all the pieces together and marked out where all the holes would need to be drilled at the same time. This is quite a handy tool. You just line it up on the mark you've made and then it drills holes either side of it. I'm using the 8mm bits for this, but I also have the 12mm and you can get a 10mm bit as well. As these will be going outside, I made sure my glue was waterproof and then put a dab in all the holes. The dowels can then get put in and are given a little tap in place. These planters are going to be painted, so I could have made this a lot quicker by just screwing everything together, filling the holes and then painting it, and you'd never know the difference. This system does work well, but I find the key is to be really precise with your marking out. If all your lines match up, you'll be fine. Instead of trying to clamp everything together in one go, I made up these frames first and left them to dry. When they would set up, I could come back and put in the pieces that would join it together. This means I didn't have to work quite as quick before the glue dried, and trying to get clamps to pull in every direction. Just using my rawhide mallet for a little bit of persuasion. A few more clamps just to hold it in place while it dries. I was a bit impatient and decided to try and get on with it while the clamps were still on. These are the off cuts from earlier that I'm gluing and nailing in place and are what the tongue and groove cladding is going to attach to. The cladding came wrapped in packs of five so I thought I'd have a go at chopping it down in the packaging. I'm not sure if this was a good idea but it seemed to work really well. First I had a dry fit of the cladding to see how it all work and of course there's just a small gap at the end. I used the bandsaw to rip down a piece to fill this gap. Then that can be fitted and all the pieces glued and tacked in place with the brad nailer. I gave them a couple of coats of a cuprinol garden paint in a kind of sage colour and that was them all done. Now we're just going to wait for these bay trees to grow a little bigger. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.